Creating an organized minimalist Christmas is super easy. This video is going to show you how to do it in no time at all, and it is going to save you so much time in years to come. Now, there's a lot that we want to get done at Christmas, a lot of things we want to do, and often these things can get really pushed quite close together right before Christmas. And when I started minimalism, I came up with this plan in my head, and it is perfect, and you're going to love it. So later, I'm going to show you my number one tip, but in the meantime, grab a piece of paper, and we're going to make a mind map. Now this does not take long. Don't be like, what? So we're gonna make some headings. Now in the past, I remember I wanted to bake a lot of things at Christmas. Unfortunately, I left it very close to Christmas, but unfortunately I was like killing myself to get this stuff done. So what you're gonna do under baking is write the things that you want to bake every year down. The things that are really important to you and your family. And no, it is not going to stay in this form. Stay with me now. And of course, if you've ever wanted to spur of the moment bake something, or you know, you're like, okay, now's the time I'm gonna bake some shortbread, and you don't have the ingredients you want, well, that's super frustrating. So now we're gonna write one pantry, circle it right underneath it what you want, like icing sugar, maple syrup, if you're Canadian like me, flour, sugar, anything like that. Okay, so we're not leaving it on this big piece of paper like I told you. And in a second, I'm gonna get to the key for how this can help you stay super organized ahead of time every year to come. But the key to keeping it organized off of that big piece of paper is this. It's a bullet journal. Now this little bullet journal is perfect because bullet journals are great. You just sort of write down things as they come to you. This one I use a little bit differently. I use it as my control journal for my cleaning, but I also halfway through it, like page 50 is when I started my Christmas pages. Make an index of things you want to have on the pages. So pretty much everything that you have a heading for, make a page for that. So you're planning, you're baking. One of the biggest stressors at Christmas can be gift buying. And I actually have a video coming up on that next week. So you're probably going to want to hit subscribe so that you can see it. But make a list of all the people you have to buy gifts for. Because then if you are out actually shopping in person, which, you know, we used to do, or if you're shopping online and you're just thinking like, who do I have to buy for? Because if you're any like me you just sort of freeze and you can't think of anything well now you have your list of who you need to buy for and come you know summertime if something pops in your brain you can put it on that list you could even do a page for birthdays if you wanted to it's really helpful that helpful that way I have a hiding spots page because in the past I have bought things and then had no idea where they were at Christmas and then in January I'm like oh yeah here's that thing I bought you it was kind of lame if you're a Canadian like me, or you live somewhere where it's nice and cold, all of a sudden you're driving along, it can be an icy day. And if you haven't got those winter tires on, you're really gonna regret it. So make a list of things you need to do, like winter tires, get out the winter clothes, buy salt for your walkway, if you've ever had people drop by, probably not this year because of COVID restrictions, but if you've ever had people drop by, it's kind of nice to have things to share with them, offer them treats, refreshments. So make a list for treats, liquor. We like to have cider in the house. We're not big drinkers, but it's still nice to have these things around. Now it gets even better, so hang on. I've got my Christmas carol list. And my Christmas list, I actually just do on Apple Music. I actually might make a Spotify list, and if I do, I'll link it below. And if I haven't and you want it, let me know below. So the fly lady, she recommends certain missions to get ready for Christmas. It's kind of a lot, it's kind of complicated. So I have created my own mission sort of based off of hers. So you can click that link below if you like, if you wanna see that because it's a lot simpler. Her website is good. It's just kind of cluttered and really hard for my brain to follow. So I just simplified it for things that I wanna get done, like organizing the wrapping paper, getting out your Christmas soap, when to run errands, anything that is really important that you want to get done. Christmas dinner, what you wanna make for Christmas dinner, put that in this book. So your great big piece of paper that you thought of or that you filled out earlier, you can add everything to this book, which is super helpful. And now how to do it years to come. Now this book will last you forever, which is great, but you're gonna want some reminders. If you're anything like me, you forget things and then they end up piling up before Christmas. I realized I needed to make way more use of November for like more of the planning early prep stages if I was going to relax and enjoy my Christmas. It may not sound minimal, but this is actually a great system so that you can do our ultimate goal of relaxing and enjoying yourself. Now you need to plan when you need to get key things Done. For example, on my phone, I set a timer to remind me 
Christmas lights. I put down November 1st with a reminder every single year. Does that mean we're actually gonna light them up on November 1st? No, but it means we're gonna put them up around November 1st. We live in the stormy west coast of Canada. It's not always doable on November 1st, but if we get it done around then, when it comes time to flick on those lights, we can flick them on, they're ready to go. I have a day to organize my wrapping paper. Super easy, super fast, but it's done, so I don't need to worry about it in December. Start my baking just a little bit in November, midway, sort of tuck things in the freezer, hide them from the family, especially the husband. But again, starting to get things out of the way nice and early. Starting to think about Christmas presents, making a list. I put down when to order my chocolate because I order it from a chocolate company called Purdy's. And in my book, I put down what I ordered and who to give it to. So if it worked out and the next year I want to do that, I have that all ready to go. Like I don't have to worry about that next year. It's so helpful. I put down November 21st. It says decorate, seriously, because in the past I felt like, oh, it feels so early. But you know what? It's done, and to be honest, it's actually really nice to have up the Christmas decorations. It didn't feel early. It felt like it sort of starts to get you in the mood. As an adult, as a mom, or as a busy working adult, it, it's busy. Like Christmas is a stressful time as much as we want to enjoy it. But if you jam everything into one short period of time, it takes so much of the enjoyment and fun out of it. So this way you can actually start to like work into it, you know? Like you're like, I'm enjoying my Christmas lights here. It's starting to get my brain thinking about it. Maybe watch one of those Christmas shows that I have on my list. Like, I know it may sound crazy, but I am kind of a kid at heart and I love Christmas shows and movies. So I make a list of the ones that I love and I love a lot. Like Scrooged, I don't wanna miss. I've been watching that since the 80s. Die Hard, of course that's a Christmas show. I don't know why people think it isn't. I know I don't have to watch all of them, but I like to watch all of them, okay? Even in there, I put down like to stock my pantry around November 15th. And that includes like buying cat food, anything like that. This will help you out huge because everything you need, you already have purchased when to do a big Costco shop, anything really, just to take huge things off of your plate. So then when it comes like December, you can way more relax. You have way more time just to put your feet up and actually enjoy Christmas. So you put those reminders in there every year and boom, you can have a so much more relaxing, minimal Christmas, and you have nobody but yourself to thank for it. Well done. Now I decorated for Christmas. I have a video that I put up last week, click there. And I also have some minimalist videos here and I hope to see you soon. And if I don't, Merry Christmas, bye.